Hello everyone, and welcome back to another eClinical Works tutorial video. Today we're going to be discussing the Labs, Diagnostic Imaging and Procedures tab, as well as the Therapeutic Injections tab. So here we are at the top of a progress note as usual, and let's work our way down. So we're going to go past all the subjective, and make our way down into the objective, past that. And here we are under plan. And so we're going to start with the therapeutic injections tab. We're going to click on this. Now, in this case, this happens to be a future encounter. So you won't see this in the majority of your uh, cases, but just keep that in mind. and it might take a moment to load, but here we are in the therapeutic injection. So this can be any number of things that is required here. Most of the time it's going to be vaccinations, but we'll get to that in a moment. So just as a bit of a review, notice over here, this is our allergies and medical history tab. So this is where it will come up. And here we have four individual tabs as we go. So today there is no therapeutic injection for the day. We can of course add one though, Let's see what we can get here. So after another long moment of waiting, here we find ourselves, and there's a lot of things we can inject. So as you can see, some of these things are not your typical injectable. So let's choose something simple like a B12. And that's just something that can appear, so just be aware of that. Another option that you can use. And so we can add various things here. So let's do MLs and let's do a hypothetical. This will be the first dose. Lot number, of course, you can enter here. Or rep, we're going to do intramuscular. And you can choose a location. So let's do deltoid. And you can even pick an expiration date. Let's just make it tomorrow. And so here you can choose other allergies. You can write a comment over here. So you've got billable and decrement the dose. Let's just press OK. Next, we have today's immunizations. And so this patient is scheduled for a flu vaccine. You can, of course, add, and it's going to look relatively similar. Okay. All the same portions. Pretty much as before. So I'm going to cancel out just to save a little bit of time. And then you can verify the immunization. I know that I mentioned in a previous video that the final verification is going to be up in the implant section. Uh, this is the exception. So if there is a vaccination, then it will also appear here. And for immunization schedule, it looks a little bit different. As you can see, there are many different vaccines you can give. Many of these are pediatric. So see. Back when they were 23, 24 years old, this patient received two shots of diphtheria. And you even have a date saying that it's due as of a couple of years ago. And see here are some other qualifiers for the different vaccines that you see. See, we even got COVID. Now, the one thing you might notice that is not here, one of the more common vaccines is our flu vaccine. Well, we have a special section just for that. And here we have it. So they had influenza vaccines in 2019 and 2020, and here again in 2020. You can, of course, add. So let's go ahead and add this one. Okay. 
dependency, it's going to be the same sort of screen. You can add it to an assessment here if it's uh, qualified to, but in the case of a flu vaccine, you wouldn't necessarily do that. So just for general maintenance. So that's how that works. So that pretty much summarizes the flu vaccination and the uh, therapeutic injection. So let's exit out. And we're going to go to our next tab. So I'm going to go under procedures next. And see, this is one way to order a procedure. So I'm just showing you this. It's similar to some of the other sections we've had in the past where there are templates. So this is one option. However, I'm going to draw your attention to a different tab instead. So I'm going to click on Diagnostic Imaging. And the reason why I did is because here we have three different sections together labs, diagnostic imaging, and procedures all together. So that's why this tab is a little more efficient when it comes to ordering multiple things. So let's go ahead and work our way through one of these. So when ordering a diagnostic image, you can search by order. So we can do that. And of course, the chest pain would be the best use for that with this available CPT code. So let's go ahead and press OK with that. Also note, you can choose the diagnostic imaging company. For example, UDMI is one that SN uses a lot. And now we have two things for today's orders because an EKG was previously ordered. So here we have S, which stands for stack, and F, which stands for fasting. Now, in this case, we're not going to do either. There's P for pending approval. Now, if you can't see the edge, just remember that you can always scroll over. So that's easy to forget because it just doesn't draw attention to itself as much. And as you can see, this was already ordered and there are results, so we can't eliminate that. But as always, you can always press on the receptacle to delete something. There are, of course, also future orders. And remember, if there's one that you like a lot, you can always start. And then when you press star, here's, there it still is. So there's something to keep in mind. Also note that there's a medication summary. And in this case, we've just got several assessments down here. And here are all the medications that they have. Now, this is a quick way to do refills. Notice these tabs we have here, continue, refill, refill 30, 90, and we can also stop. So for example, with something like metformin, you can expect to refill it fairly regularly. So let's do 30 day refill. All right, and then there's also the add new RX tab. And again, you can add a new diagnostic, a new drug this way. So that's something to keep in mind. But let's get back to the first tab that we were under. So under add new orders, we've gone through diagnostic, but then there are also two others. So with lab, it's relatively similar. You'll see on the next page, so see? The format is all the same with the way that you would order. Today's orders, future orders, you would select one of the previous diagnoses. You can add a diagnosis as well. And you can also see the results. So just to show you what this looks like. And notice that not all of the options are necessarily to a provider. For example, you can choose this particular company. 
And then when looking at procedures, this will look a little bit different, as you can see. So here we have a standing podiatric order to the McLaren Labs. And they want the nails assessment for something. So this will be a biopsy. You can specify more here. You can even give them a clinical description. But this is the reason why they're doing the biopsy down here. Now, as far as we can tell, it seems like all the necessary items were filled in. So let's see what happens when we press OK. All right. Well, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into how to use these two different sections. The lab diagnostic imaging procedures are naturally paired together because some of the functions they have are similar and overlapping. And then the therapeutic injections are its own section. But being able to use these are important for day-to-day uh, -day minor interventions as well as ordering uh, diagnostic uh, procedures as well. So hopefully this was helpful, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.